Hi guys, welcome back to another episode of Chili Electrical. Today we're at our barn conversion project in Essex and we're just going to show you a few of the bits that we've got going in here. We've got full lighting control with Homeworks, Lutron. Uh, all the lighting's been designed by London Lightworks. We've got uh, full Wi-Fi, cameras, blind control, uh, pre-wire for multi-room audio, uh, 25 zones I think and loads of other data cabling going in. Uh, this client is quite tech savvy and he likes as much to be hardwired as possible. So uh, it's an interesting project. We've done most of the penetrations through the wall for our uh, cameras, external lights, speakers, doorbell, that kind of thing. Uh, but today we've got Stelios and Owen with us um, doing some Cat6 linking the existing property to the barn, loads of holes to drill in the steel beams in the barn. So we're gonna be cracking on with that with um, a new mag drill. And we're also finishing off a switch fuse that's a three-phase sub-main from the meter cabinet to the garage. So we'll show you some of that as well. Let's go and have a look. Okay, so here we are in the entrance foyer. So in here we've got a zone of audio, touchscreen on the wall, lighting keypad. Dad's just down here finishing off some floor conduits. So we've got floor sockets and data sockets and speakers outside going all through the floor. We've got lighting in the floor here for up lights. So this is the main two-story uh, open plan area. So you've got a sofa, chimney for a fireplace in the middle. Owen is just drilling out the steels for our main cable route. So here is the plant room. We've got uh, the main gas runs, water, hot and cold, and the, all the electrical um, and lighting controls happening in this room. And then the AV and all the data cabling is going to go into a cupboard in the study. So we've also got conduits here for lighting, low level in the kitchen island, power sockets on the kitchen island, data on the kitchen island, floor probes. Um, so there's a lot going on under the floor here. So here we've got the incoming BT fibre, which is still needing to be spliced. And we've got our temporary network cabinet ready for when the optical network terminal gets installed. And we've also got a ubiquity point-to-point -point link so that we can share that across to the garage, just temporarily. So we've got um, access points, cameras at high level. Most of the cameras are at high level just for aesthetics, which is a bit unfortunate, but we have got two PTZ cameras as well.
Them little backo sets are what you need for the oh, wow. Are you taking them off? This one. What's that one? Change it. Oh. <laughs> I know it's ridiculous, but. but. Why it does it, but do it again. Let me just double check that's not spinning. Yeah, that's fine. That's what means. Stadios has proved me wrong. Can you do the others? <laughs> All of them. Top ones I've just done, yeah? Well, yeah. That's fine. I did those. Oh, they weren't here when you. I dressed that in as well. Okay. So that's the switch fuse for this 100 amp. 25mm sub main finish. Got our three brown flexi tails in now. So we'll just close this up and then uh, go back to pull in some data cables in the carriage. It's a bit short, maybe that's why I did it. Still. No, it's long enough to go. Long enough. Isn't it? I had to cut that plastic then. Yeah, well, there's no chance you get in. So this is on the existing farmhouse property. We've got a three-phase supply to this garage fed off that switch fuse that we just showed you. And this is the first of two Zappi chargers, 22 kilowatt. So the client currently has a Range Rover hybrid, but they're planning on upgrading soon to a fully electric. So they've allowed capacity for that. This is a six meter tethered lead not actually been powered on yet and inside the garage we've got another 22 kilowatt charger this one is again for future use because at the moment this area is more of a, a tool storage area but when this is fully kitted out as a parking garage this charger is ready and you can see here we've got the six mil uh, five core armored and then our four pair cat six duct cable which goes into this duct and through with the supply armoured back to our meter cabinet. Here you can see our two zappy circuits. We've also got our incoming 25mm 4 core cable. This is all dead by the way. And our outgoing um, three phase for the house supply which is a 63 amp MCB. Here is our network rack for all the comms in the garage. So we are running uh, two Cat 6A which currently come out of the house here. Um, we run those in a few weeks ago and they're going through one of these ducts to the garage temporarily. So that will give us network in the garage um, and then we're going to send the fibre from the other property through one of these to supply the house internet and also supply an access point back out in the garage. And then all of this is gonna get taken out and redone when this house gets an extension, but. 
Let's see if I can remember how to do it. You start with one knot, don't you? Yeah. Probably. Is it a knot or a loop? Yeah, it might be. I'll take the tape off if it's in the way. You don't want to waste that tape because it comes from America. As long as company expenses, I don't mind going. This tape Dad got from some web shop comes from America. To be fair, it is very good electrical tape. Vinyl, electrical, oh, all electrical tape vinyl, isn't it? If you buy enough of it, it acts as a good wrap for your car. <laughs> but you've got to have someone with years. <laughs> This is duct grade Cat 6A. So from FS cables, that's um, shielded pairs. And then you've got the blue insulation and then you've got quite a thick black insulation on top of that as well. So these are gonna have to be pulled out again, but they're quite robust enough for that. Okay. low smoke two core one mil flex for the DC um, LED up lights. So they're going back to drivers just in the plant room on the other side of this wall. And all of the runs are less than 35 meters. So from the lighting designers specifications, that's fine for the type of fittings. of our barn conversion um, we've got more first fix to be getting on with um, but the next episode will show more of the uh, data cabling being pulled in possibly some equipment getting installed for the small power so it's been a good day today thanks for watching please like and subscribe and uh, we'll catch you in the next one